grandpa thing doesn't work. Then we'll try something else. We could always run away. I thought of that, but it would just be stupid. Why? I have plenty of money in my savings, and so do you. It isn't bad. So we would be ruining our education, our plans to go to college together. If we ran away, we wouldn't even be able to finish high school. There's homeschooling on the internet. And how long would it take for our parents to find out where we are and what we're up to? Good point. But you could move in with me. I think I could talk to my parents into it. I thought of that too, but my parents wouldn't let someone else raise me for two years. They'd panic when I go to summer camp for two weeks. No, we make our stand here. Jean, it makes me sick to my stomach, and I can't sleep at night, and my heart aches at the thought of losing you. You are not going to lose me. Not if I can help it. It wouldn't kill me. We've been friends. Close friends. You've been more family to me than my real family. It isn't right that people can make decisions that can ruin other people's lives. Especially in the name of parenthood. We have a lot of options before that will happen. I hope so. Sam, I promise you we'll be together one way or the other. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Sixteen years together means something, and I'm not going to let anyone take that away from us. No one. I... I feel the same way. You know that. They have choices to make, and we have choices to make. You know, somehow I feel better about all this. That no matter what happens, we'll be together. We'll be together. Did you get your essay done? The essay? The English essay? Student? Girl, you sure can switch subjects in a hurry. <laughs> Why not? Other one's been taken care of, and I'm happy with that. So, did you get your essay then? Yep. What are you doing on it? The Virgin Suicides movie. How poetic. I thought so. My parents hate that movie. I take it they don't see it as a love story? <laughs> nope. Not even close. After my mom read my essay, she said she's going to have to watch the movie again. Make sure we're talking about the same thing. Parents, they just don't get it. You're telling me. Mom, we need to talk. Sure, what is it? Could you please sit down? This sounds important. Wrong? Yes, but I'm asking you not to interrupt until I'm completely finished. All right? Fine. Let's hear it. Now that you've got my attention. I need Rogue to move in with us. Why? No, no. Remember, no interrupt. Sorry, go on. Rogue and I have been best friends since we could crawl. We have become more than best friends. And she's in trouble, and we need to help her. I feel somewhat responsible for what happened, and I can't let her go through it alone. You know, we're much more responsible at our age than when you were our age. <laughs> no offense, but mentally and physically, it's a fact. These nine months may not seem like a long time to you or I, but to Rogue, they will feel like a lifetime. My God, she's pregnant! What? No, no! <laughs> Give me a minute. What then? What's the nine months about? That's the length of our school year. Mom, I, we don't have sex ed for another year. I still play with Legos and collect Marvel comics, for Christ's sake. Give me a minute. I need my heart to start again. Okay, let's start again. Why would Rogue need to move in with us? I can't believe you thought I... I still wear Spider-Man underwear. <laughs> <laughs> There's two reasons why she should move in with us. First, her dad got a promotion and the family is moving to Minneapolis. Second, 
When I was talking to you about bullying, I was talking about growth. Do her parents know about the bullying? No. As far as I know, you're the only adult that knows. But we may have the situation taken care of. Do I want to know? I don't think so. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Has Rogue said anything to her folks about not wanting to move or staying here with us? If I were her mom, I wouldn't want the family to be split up. That's why I want you to talk to them. You can make the point mom to mom. So you want me to be the sacrificial lamb just in case something goes wrong? Of course. <laughs> You're the parent. And besides, it will have more impact coming from an adult. I tell you what, I will have a conversation with Rose's mom about the bullying and their moving, and I will make an offer for Rogue to stay here. But I wouldn't hold out too much hope. I know what my answer would be. Then maybe I could move with them to Minneapolis. <laughs> that is not happening. I had to try. <laughs> nice try. I understand. But no way.
I've always been proud of how close this family is and how we stick together no matter what. And I would hate to see that uh, the family be broken up by this move. I'm sorry, Grandpa, but I'm not moving. Well, let's keep the channels of communication open. I died before I moved. That is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Don't take life so lightly here. It's my life. No, it's our life. Bro, y'all are depressing me. Why can't we talk about more happy things, like how high I got on my new German score, or how big my shoes have gotten? It has to be about you, doesn't it? Who else would it be about? 